Well, here's a surprise. Tractor Pro 4 has just dropped. It brings with it stems and flexible beat gridding. There's now one price and one version of the software, no subscription, which means the pattern player and the ozone maximizer are now available to everyone, which were previously only in the Tractor Pro Plus version. It's 149 or 74 as an upgrade. So that's the news. Let's look at the features now because I've had a play with them. And we'll start with stems before moving on to the flexible beat grids and then covering pattern player and ozone maximizer if you don't know what they are. So stems was first introduced by Tractor, but you needed a special file that no one sold. So they fell on their face. However, the buttons and the software was all ready for it. What they've done now is fold in stems analysis into the software. So now you can right click on any file and click analyze for stems and it will just work using everything that you already know about the old format, which is a really clever way of doing it. It creates a new file for the stems version, which it links in the background with the existing MP3 or audio file that you've got. So any cues and loops and beat grids and so on stay synced between them. But it's got the advantage that you could have the old version of the music on your hard drive, but the new stems files, you could have them saved into a different place if you haven't got enough room, for instance. Also, you get the choice of whether to load the stems version or the normal version. One click on the load button will load the normal version. Two will load the stems version and you can swap that behavior in the settings. Same with instant doubles. It's really nice. The downside of it is that it takes a long time to analyze the stems. You can do it in real time while you're DJing. It won't affect your performance, but it takes way too long. So you're much better doing it ahead of time and you can't batch analyze. You have to do them individually ahead of time, which is a bit of a pain. The reason is that they haven't got any tools for managing your stems yet. And they told me they're building them and they will arrive in Tractor Pro 4 point something. When they get those, batch analysis will come as well. But hey, they're there, they work, they favor getting ready ahead of time, which I don't think is a bad thing. Excellent, good news. Right, let's move on to flexible beat grids. Now this has been asked for for so, so, so long. It's here. The good news, it works exactly as you'd expect. You can mark sections of tracks, you can alter the BPMs in those sections, you can have the metronome playing, you can line up the beats, you can fine tune everything. No issues there. I guess the only issue really is that the very best of class software like DJ Pro and Virtual DJ are already moving on to the next way of doing this where AI analyzes the track for you. It gets it all perfect. So this is already out of date, if you like, but hey, it's a lot more in date than it has been for many, many, many years. And I, for one, am really glad to see it. It makes Tractor usable, personally, because I play a lot of music that I can't play because I can't properly beat grid it, and I wanna use sync, I wanna use loops, and all that stuff. We've tested it. The looping is rock solid, even if you loop across a BPM change. The same with the beat jumping, and the same with the effects like gates and so on. So big, big kudos to Tractor for finally getting in that feature, albeit so late, that it's already starting to look a bit old fashioned itself, dare I say it. Anyway, let's move on to the pattern player and the ozone maximizer. So these aren't new, but they will be new to people who didn't subscribe to Tractor in the Tractor Pro Plus version. And it's good news, everyone gets them and they're good features. So the pattern player is a simple sequencer designed for drums. You select it like an effect using the same controls. There are 16 beat patterns and each pattern uh, has got eight sounds and you can play with the density, the pitch, the decay of the sounds by using the effects knobs, which gives you a really nice way to basically beat make live. It's very immediate, it's lots of fun, it syncs really nicely, even to decks which have got BPM changes now mapped into them with the new flexi grids. The Ozone Maximizer is a limiter and a compressor, but quite a clever limiter and compressor. It's over the master output, and its job is to make everything sound louder, basically. It stops you running the channels too hot so that you accidentally distort things. And if you've got quieter patches in some songs, it will bring them up to basically make it all sound like it's gelling together. My favorite use for this kind of thing, and I'll give you an exact scenario, which is also illustrating why I think Tractor is now fun to DJ with again, I really do, is this. Imagine you've got a track that you've loaded onto a deck and analyzed its stems and got its acapella going. On another deck, you've got quite an old song, which is recorded in the old fashioned kind of way where it's quite thin sounding, quite quiet. On another deck or in another input, you've got the pattern player and you've re-drummed it. You've got a nice big kick drum going on underneath that track. They're all synced together. They're all really tight, but they don't quite hold together 
because you've got a very modern sounding synthetic drum kicking away. You've got an old recording and you've also got an acapella that you've kind of pretty artificially stripped from the track it should belong to. Throwing over the Ozo maximizer and tweaking the controls will make it all hang together. And there's no other DJ software that's got anything remotely like this. It's great fun and it's gonna make you sound better. So other changes, the infamous browser flicker is now gone and there's the usual whole raft of bug fixes and so on. So my thoughts on this, it's, it's a breath of fresh air. One low price, no subscription, that's playing into a zeitgeist that's going on at the moment in the DJ world, I can say that for certain. The sound quality has not suffered at all, that's always been tracked as strong point, it's still there. But look, stems and flexi grids, they actually make the software fit for purpose again now. It works really nicely with existing hardware because it already had stems in there. So there's no issue with the controls being there. Going all the way back to the D2 and the S5 and the S8, which they don't make anymore, but they still work perfectly and DJs still use them. It's now a viable alternative to the other platforms once again. And we haven't honestly hand on heart been able to say that for a long time. There's not perfection here. They should really put a lot of work into the library now to bring that up to speed. But look, this is more than we were expecting. Uh, and so it's good news for all Tractor users. Tractor Pro 4, you are now in the loop. It's 149 to buy, 74 to upgrade. Let us know your thoughts underneath. Meanwhile, get good, get out there, make the moments, and I'll see you again very soon.